Okay, now that we've learned and talked a little bit about exponents, let's go ahead and do some prime factorization where we write our answers using these exponents. Okay, exponents can also be used to write the prime factorization of a number. Let's start with the example of 100. I'm going to go ahead and use the factors 10 times 10, because 10 times 10 does equal 100. All right, 10 is not a prime number. It has more than two factors. So I'm going to go ahead and factor 10, and I get 2 times 5. Both 2 and the 5 are primes, so I'm going to circle them. Then I do then my next 10, and I get 2 times 5. They're both primes, so I'm going to circle them. Now that I have all prime numbers left, I can go ahead and write out my answer. The prime factorization of 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. What do you notice about the prime factorization? Do you notice that you have factors that are repeated? There's two twos, there's two fives. Because of this, we can go ahead and write our answer in a shorter form using exponents. So we'll start with the first factor, two. That is our base. How many twos do you see? Well, there are two of them. That is our exponent. So we have two squared. Our next factor is five. And how many fives do you see? There are two as well. That is your exponent. So we could say that the prime factorization of 100 is 2 squared times 5 squared, or 2 to the second power times 5 to the second power. It's a lot easier to write than 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Okay, let's practice again. Let's go with 72. We did this one earlier when we were doing prime factorization in the video earlier this week. So I'm going to use the same factor. So I'm going to use 9 times 8. Neither 9 nor 8 are prime. They're both composite. So let's factor the 9. We get 3 times 3. 3 is a prime number. So I'm going to circle my 3's. 8 is composite. So I need to continue factoring. And I get 2 times 4. 2 is prime. However, 4 is not. So I factor my 4 and I get 2 times 2. So I can go ahead and write my prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, or I can go ahead and do the shorter method using exponents. My first factor is a 2. How many 2's do I see? There's three of them. My second factor is going to be the 3, and there are two of those. So I should have 2 to the third power times 3 to the second power, or 2 cubed times 3 squared. This is the prime factorization of 72. So go ahead, I want you to pause the video, find the prime factorization of 135, and then write your answer using exponents if possible. Once you're done, come back and we'll check your answer. Okay, let's see how you did. The prime factorization of 135 is 3 cubed times 5. 3 times 3 times 3 times 5, or 3 to the third power times 5. This is how you would write your answer using exponents. Okay, let's take a look at this problem. Which is the prime factorization of 360? There are a couple of different ways of solving this. Um, instead of it asking you to find it, it gives you answer choices. So you could go ahead and do a factor tree for 360 and see if you can come up with a prime factorization. Or you can take the answer choices you're given and evaluate them, multiply them out. Okay. Now, you need to be very careful. Look at answer choice A. 5 to the second power of 5 squared. Please don't rush through and say, oh, 5 times 2 is 10. Because that's wrong. It's not 5 times 2. It is 5 times 5. Okay. This right here, 2 squared, is going to be 2 times 2. So just kind of write them above it. Two to, and then let's solve it. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, and then we multiply 12 times 25, and we get an answer of 300. Okay? That's not the answer we're looking for. We're looking for 360, so A is not our answer choice. Go ahead, go through answer choices B, C, and D, pause the video, see which one is correct. Once you have the correct answer, come back and check to see if you are right. Hey, welcome back. Let's see if you got the right answer. Did you get answer choice C? If you did, congratulations. Okay, if you would have multiplied out B, 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, times 3 cubed, which is not 9, 
it's 3 times 3 times 3, and multiplied by 5, you would have gotten 540, which is more than what we're looking for. The answer choice C was the correct one. If you had multiplied out D, you would have gotten 90. Okay. Hopefully, you did good. If you have questions, ask during class. Okay, last problem. Jessica says the prime factorization of 24 is 2 times 3 times 4. Is she correct? What I want you to do is go ahead and pause the video, and I want you to determine if her prime factorization is correct. Not only do I want a yes or no answer, but I want you to be able to justify your answer. If you think she's right, explain why she's right. If you think she's wrong, explain why you think she's wrong. Pause it when you have your answer. Come back to the video and we'll talk about it. Okay. How many of you actually did the factor tree for 24? Did your own factor tree? and got the prime factorization is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. If you did, good job. You would have said, no, her prime factorization is incorrect. She's missing a couple of twos. Um, if you said, you know what, I'm just going to multiply, and you said 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24, yes, that's equal. My answer is yes, she is correct. You would have been wrong. And the reason why you would have been wrong is because, as some of you may have seen without even having to do the factor tree, is that she has a 4 here. If she's trying to find the prime factorization, she can't have a 4 in her answer because the 4 is composite. So she should have gone ahead and continued factoring and factored this 4 where she would have gotten 2 times 2. And her answer would have been 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or 2 cubed times 3. Okay. So whenever you have these problems, you have to be able to justify and explain what her mistake was and what she should have done and what the correct answer is. Here is your homework check for tonight. Okay. The first problem, you're going to identify which number does not belong in the set up here, the data set 24, 12, 2, and 11. You're going to write an explanation. You should use words such as factor, multiple, odd, even, prime, and composite to support your position. You don't have to use all the words, but use some of them. Use mathematical vocabulary. Question two, which is greater, two to the fifth power or five squared? Justify your selection. Tell why you think it's greater. And the third question, does every number have a prime factorization? Why or why not? Don't give us just a yes or no answer explain your reasoning. We want to hear you think on paper. This is due tomorrow.